In the past tutorial, we did a very smart thing by using this view to know the name of the view and to display something. But we also created a problem because when we came here, we are passing user as the view name. Uh, what we can do is to make this dynamic so that it automatically picks the name of the, the view and pass it. When we passed user here, what we had here was user. So if we move to posts, what? how do we manage to change this? Because it's now on the default.ctp. So what we can do when we move to post is to use this. And uh, we're going to use name because we're now working with the name of the 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 we're working with the controller name so if we refresh it will change to the controller name so it picks the controller name automatically but we created a problem for ourselves because uh, the controller name in cake php is usually plural so but we need it to be in singular cake php has a powerful tool called inflector in and i will show you how it's being done the inflector We'll use the inflector to make it singular. So we're going to quickly go back to our, our code here and uh, put it inside inflector. So what we're going to say is is a cake PHP function called inflector. You can read about it on the documentation. Inflector, and we're going to do singularize because it's already in plural. So we're going to singularize it. We're going to say singularize. So we'll put it inside a parenthesis and that's sorted, sorted out. So let's see what happens. It's in plural. Let's see whether inflector works. So we'll refresh and um, we have an error. We need to go to our app controller and um, define this. All right, this is what we have. This can only work directly in the in the controller like this but we're using it in the view so we need to go to our app controller remember where you can find it if you go to your kick out src and then you hit on controller then you open app controller and when app controller opens what we're going to do is to import it right here we use we're creating it in app controller because we want to use it everywhere in all our pages if we only wanted to use it in specific pages we will uh, create it on those controllers specific controllers if we wanted to use it only in users we'll create it on users controller so right here we have cake utility inflector and um, the next thing we're going to do is to pass it to the view all right so we're going to say use inflector as I'm going to say use as let's call it any name any variable I'll still call it inflector Remember in cake PHP inflector is like the dictionary a manager that helps you to put words in plural or singular uppercase lowercase and so on and so forth It's a very powerful tool. So we're going to set it remember to pass something to the view Pass a variable and its value to the view All right, so to pass something to the view in cake PHP you use set so we set what do we call it in the view i will still want to call it inflector inflector and then we will say new inflector so we're instantiating the class this inflector here uh, we know we use as inflector so we're instantiating it so when we get back to our view we can now start using this as a variable so if we get back to view right here we can just say inflector so if we go back and refresh let's see whether it works and it works so as you can see it's now singular we have user new user list user edit user and whatever i just want to show you one other um, there are many functions in this inflector It's a very powerful tool you should go to kick php and read it up so let me show you um let me try and show you one other thing to do there we can have um, inflect, inflector underscore so this is the var variable we want what if we concatenate it with something maybe it's something that has a space we can maybe the variable has uh, quick brown fox 
it's a sentence but we want to convert it to something that has underscores so we can say inflex inflector underscore if we refresh keep your eye here it will um okay our css value value is removing the underscores there let me use something else that um let me use somewhere else that we won't see okay right here we have this echo all right and um there we are inflector underscore okay the reason underscore didn't work is that this sentence needs to be in camel case first of all it needs to be this way and um, if it's in camel case then the underscore um, function can work and if we refresh as you can see the underscore works because it's in camel case but if not if we had it in space like this we can use there are so many inflector functions you can use log to make it look like a url to just add dashes everywhere so if we use plus log and um, change to this is to add dashes everywhere so there are many inflector functions the one we just used is the one that has to singularize of, of course you can pluralize pluralize um, i'm having problem pronouncing it so that solves our problem in this um, particular video in the next video we we'll see um something um more cool in um, adjusting our menu so that we can build one menu that solves it all all right so see you in the next video